But let's visit another teacher, Esther Mapangwe from Lufensa Senior Secondary Girls School in Soweto, who has prepared a lesson on a similar topic. Last, last time in our lesson, we, we were talking about continental drifts. You remember when we were talking Esther has also prepared a lesson on volcanoes, but has decided to use video volcanoes. to illustrate her lesson. What does she do to make this lesson more than a passive viewing experience? I pause where I think I need to emphasize certain points, and then I explain to the, to, to the learners. that are joined together, what do we call them? Yes. Esther watched the video at home and decided to pause the video to highlight important points. She asked learners questions to keep their viewing active. By incorporating these carefully planned interruptions, she has in fact changed the nature of the video. She has turned a documentary on volcanoes into a new learning resource. I want you to watch the next part of the video. At some stage, I'm going to switch off the volume and I would like you to watch without the sound but I want you to watch very carefully and thereafter tell me what was happening and what have you seen. Video can be overwhelming right. to the learners with both sound and moving images bombarding them at the same time. Esther decided to improve learning by turning the volume right down at one point so that learners could focus on the image of a volcanic formation rather than be distracted by the accompanying soundtrack. Up to this far. What have you seen? Yes. The blocks move far from each other when the volcano occurred. Good. Did you all see the blocks moving apart? Yes. And then there was a hole from underground and um, something was coming from, uh, from the underground going upwards. And then after they've seen the whole vid video with my explanations, then I allow them to watch it on their own without any interference. And I'm not going to interrupt. I would like you to watch very carefully and tell me how the land where the volcano is occurring, how that land is affected. Instead of giving the learners verbal instructions on what to look out for, Esther could have prepared a worksheet beforehand. In this way, she would have focused learner attention on the most important points, and she would have been able to actively involve more learners. But Esther demonstrates some very important points about good media use. She has clearly familiarized herself with the technology of the video recorder and can thus teach with confidence and without embarrassing breakdowns. Even if I do not have a video for that part of the section that I am dealing with, I try by all means to record what I see on TV at home. And this helps me a great deal because they understand better.